Hey everyone, Ben here with Fly Plugins, and today I'm super excited to announce our 4.7 release of WP Courseware. So what's new in 4.7? Well, a couple years back we took a survey and we asked our customers, what's one of the main feature requests that you have? And we had an overwhelming response for membership functionality. You heard that right. Membership functionality is now available in 4.7. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how it works. So let's jump right in. Okay, so membership functionality is gonna affect your content. So when somebody, someone is enrolled into a course, you can give them access to content, like for example, a post. So let's come in here, let's go ahead and add a new post here. I can show you how this works. Okay, so we're gonna name this post premium content. Okay, and then you're gonna obviously add your content. So I'll write something very basic. Now over here, if we click on document and we scroll down, you're gonna see we can restrict access to members of course or courses. In this case, we're just gonna say, I, I want them to be enrolled into course A and they will actually be part of this content. They will be able to see this content. So we're gonna go ahead and hit publish and that's done. So now your end user must be enrolled into course A in order to see the content of this post. And we're gonna take a look at how this works in just a second. So um, I wanna go ahead and go to our pages because this also affects pages. And let's go ahead and create a new page. So let's call this page premium content. All right, and, and again here, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna assign uh, this course B. How about that? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and publish. Okay. So now, when someone is enrolled into course B, they will actually have access to see uh, the content of that particular page. Now, one thing that I wanna just briefly go over before we even look at those pages and see what, we, what, what, what it looks like, um, let's go over to WP Courseware and let's go into settings. And you're gonna notice we have a new membership tab here. Um, and so here are your, your messages that you're gonna to relay to users who come into your site either logged in or maybe not logged in. Uh, if they're logged in but perhaps aren't a member of that course or not enrolled into the course associated with the content, uh, you can display a message for them. Now, if they're absolutely not logged in at all, we can display a specific message for them as well. So. Now that we've got some, some content published, let's take a look at what it looks like from somebody who's not logged in standpoint. So if we come over here, I'm gonna go ahead and do a refresh. Okay, so look, we've got, we've got this post premium content. You'll notice that this content is only available to course members. Log into your account or enroll into the course to see content. So that's the messaging that we have set up, okay? Now if they click into this, obviously it's gonna say the same thing. Okay, that's, that was just your excerpt. Okay, now if you remember, we also created page premium content, which if we, if we navigate there, you'll see the same message here. The content's only available to course members, log into your account or enroll into the course to see content. Okay, so again, you're gonna see um, this messaging when somebody is absolutely not even logged in. Okay, now I am the course author for both of course A and course B. So if I actually go to the front end and let's just say, uh, I look at the content, so premium content, look, I can actually see the content that's associated there. If I click into it, obviously you'll see it as well. That was just the excerpt, and the same goes for the page premium content because I am also the course author for this particular course. But what happens if, let's say I'm logged in and I am not the course author, or I'm not enrolled into the course, okay? So let's go ahead and let's de-enroll myself Okay, so I'm gonna take myself out of both of those courses. Now we'll navigate back to the front end. And now you're gonna see a message. It's a little bit different than the message that you'll see here uh, when you're not logged in at all. Here it's just going to say, this content is available to course members and roll into the course to see the content. So the, the content was only available based on course enrollment. So again, this, this feature has been requested um, 
many, many times. And so we are super excited to release this. And so I hope that this is helpful because now, rather than having two plugins, you know, something to run your learning management system and something for your membership content, now you, you actually can take those two functionalities into one and you only need one plugin now and you can use WP Courseware for both. So I hope this is a helpful feature to you guys. Again, we're super excited to release this. And so if you have any questions, please let us know. If you have any additional feature requests, we'd love to hear them. Enjoy the new feature. See you in the next video.